Good evening, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. As we say in Polish, which means joy to the world on the birth of God. If we can have the angels, um, if you would like to just bring up Evelyn, uh, she looks gorgeous. And, and of course, Julian. And uh, Julian and CJ. We're going to start at the back of the church. Oh, how Oh, yeah, I have to. Peace, that peace which 
can only be found in you. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray, O Lord, on this most holy of all nights, the night when your word was made flesh, on night when the animals and all the objects of nature sang praise unto you, as a symbol of the new creation of Christmas, we look to the evergreen tree, which remains vibrant throughout the winter months, awaiting the opportunity to praise the Son of God at his birth. Bless this Christmas tree, and may we be as vigilant as we await for your return. This we ask in the name of the King of kings and Lord of lords, Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you, and please, you can return to your seats. Thank you. Please be seated. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Tonight is Christmas Eve in which we recall the hope we have in Christ. Today, tonight, we light again the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. first candle, we speak of hope because God keeps his promises to us. Aaron, could you take the second? Second candle, we work for peace because Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he calls his children to work for peace in his name. The third candle, we share joy because the Holy Spirit fills our hearts and minds with the presence of the fourth candle we show love because Jesus gave everything for us and led us to know the forgiveness of God the last candle now we light our last candle to remember the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as the prophets promised so long ago you have come to us once again and with the shepherds we are filled with wonder and amazement. 
And now we will light the Christ candle. Let us pray. Lord, you came into this world as a tiny, fragile baby. Yet we know that you are God and that you are with us tonight. May the flame of this candle remind us that you are the light of the world and that if we follow you, we will never walk in darkness, but will have the true light of life. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen.
Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we will go into the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Christmas Eve, let us go unto God our Heavenly Father and pause to make an examination of our consciences. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, let us recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, my dear brothers and sisters, for your penance, for the confession that you have made. Open up your hearts and your minds that you might receive the blessings of Christ the Savior this evening. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. May your people rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce salvation day after day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you make this holy night radiant with the splendor of Jesus Christ, the long-awaited Messiah, we welcome him as Lord our light, the true light of the world. May he bring us to eternal joy in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. 
you have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest as people make merry with dividing spoils for the yoke that burdened that burdened them the pull on their shoulder and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. for every boot that tramps in battle every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames for a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful, from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad, and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful, and all that is in them. A reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness, and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord who said to me, You are my son. Today I am your father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields, and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born, for you who is Christ and Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by now, now for and forevermore. Amen. Nick Benjamin Popolonius Christus. Santa would love to call on you. You know, you think that I get busy. Santa's got a lot to do this evening. And we are so blessed that we have Santa this evening and Mrs. Kloss. Now Santa's going to be very busy because he's got a lot of presents to deliver. The spirit of Christmas. Isn't that what it's all about? In these past weeks leading up to Christmas, there have been so many people that have come to give that spirit of Christmas, of joy and happiness, and even presence. And so Santa and Mrs. Kloss, we welcome you to our church this evening. You know, Santa, you I want to we I want to welcome you. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Claus. You know, years ago, there was a famous bishop, and his name was Saint Nicholas. And what took place afterward was Santa and Mrs. Claus, because. Blessed Saint Nicholas only lived for a short period of time, whereas Santa, in the spirit of Christmas, is eternal. Just as Saint Nicholas of Myra gave presents, so we too, in the spirit of Christmas, come to you this evening, especially Santa and Mrs. Claus, who come to bless our church with their presence. Santa, with the spirit of Christmas, what does that mean for you? The spirit of Christmas? Yes. It means being nice to everybody. It means trying to bring some magic into the day. And then, kind of like Scrooge, trying to carry that forward from Christmas Day into the rest of the year as well. And eat a lot of good food, too. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how you can do it with the cookies and the milk of going to the homes. You hold your weight very well. Weight watchers. Weight watchers. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Kloss, would you like to add of this special evening? Because you're at home more or less staying behind and taking care of things while Santa delivers gifts to children and boys around the world, and to each of us with the spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas is the spirit of loving each other and spending time with those whom you love. Is it? Yeah, wonderful. You know, we do have that one scripture passage that for me sums it all up. You've heard me say it before. For God so loved the world 
that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so God gave us that gift. God gave us his only begotten Son to teach us how we are to love each other and how we are to care for one another, regardless, because in the end, although people may be strangers, it is God the Creator who has made each and every single one of us. And so, Santa, I know that you don't have uh, your, your full bag, just a little bit, but a little bit. And I know that we also had a, a couple of gifts that we put under the tree as we blessed the tree, and so what I'd like to do is I'd like to give a couple of the gifts to the children who are here. I'd like to do that too. I have one for Grace. And I have another one for Ren. Grace and Ren. Would you come up and receive a gift from Santa and Mrs. Claus? To our angels. Grace. Are you Grace? Are you Grace? This is for you. And you must be right. You love your dog. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you both. You had great mates. Is somebody named CJ here? Is CJ here? CJ has come up all the way from Texas to spend Christmas, Merry Christmas with CJ. us. <laughs> And of course, we have, we have Liam and we have Natalie. And so the blessings of God will be with you this Christmas. And so, just after a few words, may we continue to keep that spirit of Christmas and to realize that we are all called upon to be good people, to love one another, and to help each other. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Santa, I thank you so much. You know, you, you've... I've, I've tried to be good. You and so, good this year. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see when except I go for, back to the house. Except for that, except for that one thing. Uh-oh. We'll talk about that yeah, later. Okay. God bless you. Santa and Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The reindeer are waiting. We have some Polish cookies over at the house that we will share with Santa. But you know, Santa is mysterious because he never seems to be around when we expect him to be there. It's only when we fall asleep. And so, may the blessings of God be with all of us this evening. I did want to mention that Santa will be visiting Aaron and Brayden and all of us, all of us this evening, sharing joy and love as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas to all of you. Bojego shunt, bojego narodzenia, vesoy shunt, bojego narodzenia. God be with all of us this evening. Santa told me off to the side that uh, that Wayne's been really good, so I think he's going to get the bulk of the presents this year. <laughs> I be leaving, walk on God, the 
Father, and of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. rejoice before the Lord, who comes, who comes to govern the earth, to govern the world with justice and the peoples with faithfulness.
and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memories we honor here on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this evening by God, our Heavenly Father. The Lord Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, accept our gifts on this joyful feast of our salvation. By our communion with God made man, may we become more like him who joins our lives to yours. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. That this evening we celebrate the nativity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death. And called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. Therefore, on this pastetka, or mass of the shepherds, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. And let us pray unto our Father. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and, spot and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place, for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world, with its bishops and priests, and with all who profess the true Orthodox Catholic
pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so brave for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty of your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and join, accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar in the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, Lord, your servants and handmaidens, all our faithful departed, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest on Christ, grant, we pray, a, pray, a place of refreshment, life, and peace. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen by whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the mind and example, we say with confidence, Our Father. Yeah. 
Together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us. A living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion make us your willing servants. Zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. shall I return unto the Lord. For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be
splendor before the day star, like the dew I begot you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God our Father, in receiving this Eucharist, we rejoice in the birth of our Savior. May we share his life completely by living as he, he taught. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sacrifices offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thank you, Thank you to God. God. sisters, neighbors, and friends, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 